When you look at um, special education representation, uh, what you find is that whether you have a disability or not pretty much depends on what state you live in uh, for a variety of reasons. One is that states don't use common disability labels. So you may have a cognitive delay in one state and an intellectual disability in another. So you may be in a state that has cross-categorical uh, placement, so they don't assign a disability label to you. You can have several issues and wind up in this broader uh, category. The eligibility criteria uh, vary so that uh, we may have cutoff scores, for example, on an intelligence test for identifying an intellectual disability, and that can vary across states. So you may have an intellectual disability in one state and move to another and, and not have it. Um, reporting, uh, data collection and reporting are quite uh, different. So, for example, um, it's difficult to get counts of English uh, language learners in special education because not all states disaggregate data by language proficiency. Even when you look at a category like racial ethnic classification and representation, you find different criteria for how we place a student into a racial ethnic um, category. And so there are all of those variations in terms of policies, procedures, definitions, criteria, reporting requirements that result in wide differences in the number of students identified as having disabilities.